the button. The, the button. Punch the button to click on. Oh my goodness. It's been so long. Are you glad to be back? Oh, I if mean, I say yes, then it means I don't miss being there. But if I say no, then you'll take personal. Because I am glad to be back. So I just wish we could all just move to Scotland. Well. That would make my life perfect. Yeah. Perfect. But, you know, having bourbon cake for breakfast, you know. Yeah, that that's, helps too. Yeah. That Ellen, helps too. Ellen Simpson as a wonderful bourbon cake I from Kentucky. I, it was uh, but in it was that a, cute little container. Oh my gosh, I know. It's just so cute. I know. Um, <gasps> she, wait! What happened while I was gone? Oh yeah, the Starleys and Pink Pearl cake. <laughs> nobody even told me that. Well, Kim I would posted have that today. Kim posted it. her picture on well, Facebook and she looks I, beautiful in it. I didn't really have service most of where I was. Well, Hi, everybody. Hi, Amy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Hi, Kim. And, oh, goodness. It arrived this morning. She's, I cannot. Who what arrived else? this morning? What? Her pink, Rudy pink. No, she had a picture of it on Facebook this she morning. She just says, it arrived this morning. So she took a picture today. How come we don't get stuff delivered that early? I don't know. Wow, I have such package have I... delivery envy. Okay, enough about you. Let's go back to me. What else have I missed? Oh, you missed a ton of stuff. I mean, trust me. This is only my second day back. We got a whole bunch more. We were busy, so I mean, we got a whole bunch more in the end. We yeah, we got this in. I've done all kinds of stuff in your system that you'll have little surprises probably everywhere. <laughs> it's all right, but I did the do best. Good. I did the best I could and tried Sounds to figure good. stuff out and. Hi, yeah. Lynn. Hi, Allie. Hi, Maxie. Hi, Allie. Thank you. Oh, Melissa's coming to see us Colleen's this week. here. Is she on a, a ladder this week? <laughs> no, she's probably under the house with a, you know, a flashlight on her head. <laughs> and she's got, like, a glue or something that she's put her phone on. You know what she needs? On. She needs one of those things um, that you, like that phone thing, that pillow thing you hang around your neck. Oh, that yeah. Have. Yeah, that we sell. Yes, yeah, so we sell. It's on our website under Just for Fun. But you like hold your cell phone while you're laying down. You can move the arms and do whatever you can. Oh do. yeah, she definitely needs that. Thank you. Someone asked my lipstick. It's blue red. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I do pink in spring and summer, and I do red in the fall and winter. And I'm just really not very adventurous outside well, you know, of that. Technically, it's not fall until tomorrow. Well, I know that, but when I got my nails done. Oh, it was gonna. I got red because it's gonna go into the fall, and you got black. This is not supposed to be black. It's supposed to be like a deep mold wine color, and it's not pretty. But when you get in the sunlight, it has these really pretty like cat's eye sparkles. I, I think it's pretty. Oh, oh Lynn, gosh. you're in your new place. Good. I'm sorry your furniture didn't get there though. Colleen says she has that headgear flashlight hanging right here. <laughs> Kim's lipstick is beautiful. It just like goes whoosh on here. It's. I mean, I'm telling you, blue red. My lip sense is one of my favorite, and then I put the scarlet gloss on top, and I love and it. And the hurricane, you do a lot of hurricane red. Yeah. When you're feeling kind of stormy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a personal uh, storm going daily. Oh, me too. Tell me us too. about Scotland. It was you, perfect. Uh, you posted some amazing pictures. I didn't even post a quarter of what I wanted to post, but I'm like, people are going to get so tired of me. But I tried to post them in one big group. It was the most perfect place I've ever been in my life. And I'm oh. not exaggerating. She deserved this trip more than anybody I know. I'm telling you, it only rained one day and then it just drizzled not even half the day. It was perfect. And that's the thing that I noticed in the pictures was every picture that Missy was in, like she was glowing. Her face, I was so happy. she was so happy. I'm telling you, I was so happy. I would go back to She didn't tomorrow have if that look when she walked in yesterday. <laughs> I come in like, <laughs> I'm like, where's the Scotland Misty? <laughs> She's still there. My heart's still there. I'm telling you, when people say that they wish they could live there and move there, I get it. I totally get it. It's the best place I've ever been. No, I didn't see Helen Gooding. I should have. I don't know where she's at. We were all over the state. Allie, I was all over, all over the state, all over the country. I was all over. We flew into Edinburgh and then rented a car. And we were actually like 15 miles from Balmoral when the Queen died. And it got a little... A little crazy there, but then we went to St. Andrews, Aberdeen, Inverness, Isle of Skye. We were everywhere, and I just didn't see a quarter of what I wanted to see. 
So, so you got to go back? I have to go back. I yeah. definitely will have to go back. Yeah. Anyway, enough about my trip. Oh, we're glad she's back, too. But, you know, she wants to know what happened while she was gone. Do you know the best thing I ate while I was there? Huh? The scones. Oh, I love scones. The first, like, real day, we went to the scone palace, and then we went to the little The cafe. scone palace? Yes. I think they actually might call it not moving like scone, but that's what it is. It's in scone, and it's beautiful. That's where I, I took the picture, the very first picture that I took, and I had a scone in the scone palace, and it was amazing. Anyway. They've got a palace for everything over there. Okay. They're saying, did I visit Mall of McIntyre? I, the Isle of Mall was my one thing that I just wanted to do so badly. I didn't get to do it because the way the schedule worked out, they didn't have tickets. And I literally cried. You ask my, <laughs> my best friend, Liz, who went with me. I literally cried. But that was the one thing because it's you go there and then I own it. It's like the birthplace of Christianity in Scotland. The history there is just... I, I love history, and I just can't get over. I can't get over the things that I saw. Good. Scoon. That's exactly what I was going to say, but I felt weird. Scoon. Mm. Anyway, I loved it. You're lucky to live there, Allie. I'm going to look you up next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marion's from the Panhandle. We've been there, too. Yeah. That's I was you were born, born in Amarillo. Amarillo. I mean, I was saying that George Strait song. <laughs> so... Um, what else happened? What else do we need to talk about? What do you have on? Every people are commenting. It's beautiful. It's on gorgeous. You. Love this style. I love it. It's it's by Envy. I didn't. I missed the whole unboxing of a brand new line. A brand new company. I know. Well, I wanted to peek in those boxes so bad before I left. I, I said that. And I'm like on Labor Day, Kim and I worked up here all day trying to get ready, and they were sitting over there, and I literally kept eyeing them. I was like, I'm just going to open one. And then I was like, no, I'm not going to do it, because I always get on to Kim for doing that, so I didn't. Yeah. But let me tell you what. Their fiber is wonderful. And I didn't open them early either. No. I, mean, I, the, well, I don't know. I can't prove that, because I wasn't here. But Well, Carrie can tell you. I mean, we opened them. We didn't open them from the boxes live, because it makes so much noise with the paper. So we pulled them out, but we didn't really look at them till we yeah. put them on. So I behaved. Tina's asking if I heard any bagpipers. I'm sorry. I could just can we just talk about Scotland the whole time? Today? We can. I actually went to Pit Lockery on the 170th Highland Games, and they opened that with a parade of bagpipers down through town. And it was like five different bands, and they all came playing the national anthem. Uh, I can cry. About did this you? Too. I was gonna say, did you cry? I did. <laughs> I was like, I just, I have never. And I got stung by a bee standing there trying to film them. That was my souvenir. I saw a little spot there. It was just, yes, I heard lots of bagpipers. And Still I wanted little, to marry one, a but spot right here. yeah, I wanted to marry one, but none of them looked at me. They were too busy like concentrating on where they were going. I was like, rude. Yeah, and some of them were kids, and you know, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> some of them weren't. <laughs> oh, gosh. anyway, That's okay, too funny. back to what I'm wearing. This is called Dakota, and it's by Envy, and the color is called Platinum Shadow. This is the color Kim you would wear. It's not, I'm I don't know, not too great at all on me, but no, it's beautiful on her. And we had this whole discussion before we went live because she doesn't like herself blonde, and I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. Well. I it's kind of love his style. Yeah, it's just everybody has their comfort zone, and that's kind of my comfort zone. It's not hers, but it looks beautiful on her, whether yeah. she's comfortable or not. And I've got on Unfiltered and Shaded Biscuit by Raquel. Yes. And we do try to put those in the description, which sometimes we miss, but we do this day. Okay, Melissa's okay. asking, does that one come in a dark color? Mm -hmm. They come in a full array of color. One thing that Envy does is they make every style in a lot of colors. Mm -hmm. um, some of the... Several of the wigs that they carry, they make in every color. Uh, but this one. They have basic colors. They have highlighted colors. And so this one's made in the basic color, highlighted, and then about five rooted colors. Yeah, this one comes in every single color that they make. Oh. Um, I have it on the website, but I don't have the images for the 12 of the new. They put out 12 new colors this year that are rooted. They, before, I think they only had six, and then they added 12 so they have 18 rooted colors, yeah. and they're all really good. And another thing I noticed, I watched you guys do your video, and then I also went through some of the styles yesterday. The blondes are not really gold. No. They might have a couple that have a really good 
um, gold undertone, but the rest of them are real sandy and, and champagne-y, very, very pretty. Rooms. And they're, uh, they're wearable, so if you tend to like the gold colors, mm -hmm. they're not overly cool. Right. Um, and then the cap size, I know that Carrie mentioned this, she has a large size head. I'm borderline, they, it fits me great. It actually comes down so far on my ear, I actually pushed it up a little bit. Did you? Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah, the ear to ear for me is always a problem. Yeah, but yeah, it's a really cute, lightweight style. Just love it. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're going to show you the new. <laughs> I'm like, what do we do? Walk. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> it's What's hard for next? Me to get back in What's the saddle. next? <laughs> Are we Maybe having scones now? <laughs> I, I think I had one every day. I probably gained 10 pounds on my trip. I, you know, I probably would have had two a day because I love scones and I'm sure really they're liked. way better there. I mean, I'm sorry, but I didn't really like a lot of the food, but I love the scones. Well, it's just a different culture. It's kind of like if they came over here and we took them to a Tex-Mex, they'd probably be like, oh, this is way too spicy. I looked. Hi, Lorraine. I looked so hard. We Googled in every ma ma major area for a Mexican food place. I'm like, I just want to know what their version, their take on Mexican food is. Nowhere. No place. Well, it's not. I mean, I don't know about Scotland. I just know in Germany, it's not good. You know, well, it's just, I just wanted to, you know, just even there, it. And there's translation issues. So, like, they opened up a new hamburger joint. This is, like, five years ago. And someone read that. You know, this is how you make a hamburger. Well, the translation of pickle didn't quite make it. So they put raw cucumbers on it. Okay. Well, okay. Pickle's a cucumber. It's just cured. Anyway, it was, yeah. it's just, it's little things like that, little nuances. And the same thing happens here. I mean, there's a little Bavarian restaurant right around from my house. And it's yeah, not, I don't it's know not the same I, food Allie, you, you get gotta, in Germany. You got to tell me where the Tex-Mex place. We found one place that had a chili pepper on the sign. So we thought it was that, but it ended up being Indian. So, yeah, there's lots of Indian Chinese. Um, Ro Rosalie asked about the fried Mars bar. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I don't like Mars bars. But, well, their Mars bar but my is mouth not like was our Mars bar. watering. Okay, our Mars bar, I think of it having almonds, which is basically like I think an almond Snickers tastes like now. But their Mars bar is like our Milky Way. Well, I thought a Mars bar was like a Milky Way, and I don't like Milky no, Way Mars, either. The old, the old Mars bar that came in like the light brown package was like a Snickers almond. They almost taste exactly the same. Okay. But yes, I had a fried Mars bar. I Googled before I left and knew where I wanted this at. Okay. So it was, I don't know how to say the town, in Inverary or something, Inverary. But this wonderful little place, I think two brothers run it, and I went specifically and got a fried Mars bar. It was the best thing I had. It was so, so good. Did you go get another one? No. No, I didn't. But, and fish and chips. Fish and chips we had three times. Um, two places were excellent. So if it's fried, is it hot? Yeah, it kind of like, but it holds together. It's like they dip it in this, I watched them do it. They dip it in this batter and then they deep fry it and it's kind of brown on the outside and you think, oh, it's going to be weird. But when you take that little fork, I mean, a little wooden fork, it just kind of all just... Does it like of, ooze out? No, not really. I mean, it's, it's. I don't know how to explain it. Well, you should have taken a video of that. Yeah, um, Michael said it's Texas State Fair food, but it's in Scotland. <laughs> so it's, it's better. Oh, no. <laughs> Colleen says if, if you don't like Milky Way, we can't be BFF. I oh, know I do like Milky Way. I but don't. It's not, it's not, oh, you said that. Okay, I like, like, it's not something I would buy. I like nuts and texture mm -hmm. and all that kind of, and to me, a Milky Way just doesn't have any. I, just, I mean, I know looking at me, you think I eat candy all the time, but the really the only candy bar I crave lately is a zero bar, and hardly anybody knows even what a zero bar is, but that's what I crave. Jake zero says bar. now he's hungry, thanks to you. Well, you know, it is lunchtime here. All right, so what what is this called? Okay, this is called Candid <laughs> Capture. Like, Y'all put your wigs on and, and keep talking. I know, I can't do two things at once. I like Heath Bar too. Okay, Candid. Now, Kimberly... That's not ice mocha. Oh, yeah, it is. Y'all, I handed these to her and said, this is your stack. This is my stack. <laughs> I even came in here and checked. Well, I could have sworn you had me in the cappuccino. I can't. Okay, so, you can, know, candy capture. Okay. 
<laughs> Are we all ready for this? I didn't like ready. Do you want too crazy about the picture? But let's see. All right, let's see. You go first. I'm mm -hmm. nervous. Yep. <laughs> okay, first, if the cap is comfortable. <laughs> yeah, cap is really comfortable. Okay. Okay. Let's see. These bangs. Okay, so this is a lace front with a machine made cap. It is monofilament top. We wait. I can't decide which way it wants to go. I well, mean, the it, picture, they've got like these really nice, nice little bangs. bangs that come down. And let me turn to the side so people can see the bangs. I mean, they're not obviously you can have <laughs> on, from the I'm side. I'm sorry. I, my allergies are still crazy. Um, I can't look at the bangs for looking at the side of the back of that. Oh, the side of the back? Let me see. Okay. Okay. I mean, if you like spiky, it's... It's very Rod Stewart-ish. Well, it's a combination of a number of things. So it's got some longer pieces on the side, but not as long as Sparkle. Y'all know what I'm going to say. It's got, got potential. potential. <laughs> you always have to know that just because it's not something we like, the more you work with it, these are fresh, fresh, fresh. We haven't peaked. We just take them out of the box to alleviate the noise that goes on when we're trying to. See, mine's getting better. I mean, it does have potential. I'm a little concerned about the neckline. It seems a little bit longer here, which I realized today is the style. But I feel like a lot of people that wear wigs don't really like it as long on their neck. And so we get asked to trim that all the time. And the, the thing is, oh, the I that was my hair. Oh, did I pull it? <laughs> did it hurt? I think I had to... <laughs> uh, it's, you know, the, the neckline never cuts well. The, the hairs are staggered and it just does not um, cut well. Yeah, I, I, this, this, I think the biggest thing for me is, is this. I mean, this all up here, you can get some peace out cream like someone just said, or some wig wax, get that um, texture look that people are wanting. This y'all, you're gonna have to embrace it. I'm just telling you right now, the shag is back, and the mullet. Well, yeah, uh, they're gonna Not rename the true mullet. <laughs> they'll rename they'll rename it somehow, but it's well, the, sh the shag is back. So I mean, if you if you don't want anything on your neckline, this Melissa, this is exactly what we talked about you. There's also one by Envy. Um, because you like that shag look. I like the shag look. I like the longer shag. Well, this I like not, the shag look, too. But I'm just saying, y'all, this what this where it is right now. This it, is for, our world. It, beachy, waves, beachy waves ruled everything for a long time, but no longer. It's the shag. Don't say that. The shag. Isn't that a dance? No, but I mean, like, I love my beachy waves. Well, I do, too. Does that mean, are you saying they're out? No, oh, I'm just saying I think, I think, I don't know, but I think pretty much that's what's going to happen. Is they're going to do a lot of the beachy Change waves. is so hard. You ain't kidding. Yeah, whoever said that this cappuccino <laughs> one's hanging better was absolutely right. Well, I... Yeah, Christina, there's, there's a number of log and shags coming out. And so, there the opportunity. And of course, everybody has a different idea of a shag. Like everyone has a different idea of a pixie. You know what my idea of a pixie is is generally not what some people come in here with their idea. There's a weird thickness right here. Do you feel that? Yeah. Like right here at the. Bang, it's like a lot of permatees. Right after that lace, and so. I have to say though, the cap the cap is stretchy and comfortable. I think maybe. It might be better if we stop trying to make it look like the picture and use that beachy wave. I mean, <laughs> use that lace. I'm just trying to read. and So that's better? <laughs> well, I'm not saying it's better. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Yes, you should. Okay, she's asking about patio heaters, and that's a good, good question because we're going into that season. Not necessarily here, but up north. Yeah, the... Spate, the heaters that they have on the patios, generally they're high enough, they're not going to bother your wig, but if you are very tall and you stand close to it, yeah, it will, it'll get your wig. I look like I just ran into a wall. <laughs> look from the side. Can you see it? <laughs> Boom. All right, let's move on. Yeah, let's do. Okay. 
I mean, I don't know, but I don't think that's going to be the, the seller of the year. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to put that out there right now. I'm going to speak it in faith. I but, you know, it's it's going to work for somebody. When I talk to Jody, our rep, and she tells me what their best-selling styles are, it always shocks me because they're not ours. Mm-hmm. But, obviously, they're selling them to a lot of other people. Yeah, well, you know, we're Texan, so let's see. All right, let's go to Stroke of Genius. <laughs> Lynn says that's a short spaghetti macaroni. This is wheat. pretty. Yeah, this is pretty. This has got some shorter layers. Oh, it does. And I like that. Oh, I do like you know that. what this is? This looked, in the pictures, looked really big. This is Farrah hair right here. Yeah. Quite possibly. So maybe that's, oh, I used to love me some wings. It's, that's what I'm saying. The 70s are coming back. I mean, the shag, Farrah. A lot of the new Envy styles that we got have that, that curtain bang kind of, this is pretty. This I mean, is it's real pretty. I probably wouldn't. It's longer for you know me. What? But this is going to do a phenomenal updo because of the layers and the way you can pull it. You know who I can see this in? Hey, actually, I think I did see Christina Knapp. Having. Yeah, I was thinking about that when I was putting this in. I mean, it's this is this is you know, way Raquel, better than the first one. And one of the things Raquel does that's so nice is put those lighter pieces at the front. Curl patterns are great. Yeah. Yeah, this is perfect for half up, half down. All right, this is lace front with a monofilament part. Yeah, the colors are wrong. <laughs> and it is... Um, Sorry. Uh... Heat defiant. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Misty gets so mad at me. No, I don't. No, when, I no, just saw when I say, do you have the colors mixed up? I'm like, yeah. No, because I always say, I can't do anything right. I can't do anything. <laughs> and she always goes, don't say that. That's not true. I'm like, yeah, it is. So we'll go back up. Okay, now we're good. I like this color. It's a good in between. If you're not really wanting to go super blonde, but kind of get yourself away from the brunette a little bit, this is a good in between crossover. Cappuccino color. is really one of the prettiest colors industry wide. Nobody else makes a color that's just like the Cappuccino by Raquel, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It almost goes with my widow's peak. It's blonder, with it, it's not it's not blonde, but it's not brown. But it's got a really good blend to it. Nice, cool. I like cool colors. But yeah, I this this is actually when I put it on parted right in the center, right there. Oh, with your widow's peak, that yeah. looks great. It mean, may not look good up close. I have to trim that out a little bit. Yep, no, that didn't look good up close. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good up there. It looks good up there. Okay, so let me get the part going the right way and cover up my widow's. Charlie's peak. Angels. Yeah, I can hear the theme song in the back of my head. We can do that for Halloween. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, Sandra says it's long shag. It is. Oh, I love hair like this. Oh, yeah. And you know what that means? If we're going back to the 70s. Yeah. The next. Or the 70s, 80s. 80s. And we're going to have our big old. I'm going to have my bangs <laughs> and my perm. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're going to have to wait because it, it, it'll take about 10 years. No, I can wait. I'm patient. Good things are worth waiting for. Anthony says his wasn't curly at all. Odd. Yeah, these are both got nice, 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 good hot rolled kind of yeah. hair. Okay, one more. That means I can start hot rolling my hair again. <laughs> you did hot roll your hair a long time when I met you. Right, and while. then I was told that that aged me. and it <laughs> I, I don't think those were the words. <laughs> Something to this that is, effect. This is Cam's way of putting words in our mouth. We didn't say that age G. We were just like, oh, you could, you gotta try this. Because that looks like hair you would have had for 20 years or something. They were not, they're always forget. nice. You came in, you've only been here like, I don't know, like six months. And you came in, you, you said, I got my hair done and I got highlights. And I was like, 
<laughs> Where? Where? Does it look the same as it was the day before? <laughs> Well, now she's blonde. Back then, you were like ginger brown. Yeah, but to get from ginger brown to blonde, we had green and we had orange. And we wore oh, yeah. wigs because and, yeah. we couldn't. Okay. Portrait mode. All right. This is going to be my favorite. I already know it. I've seen the pictures. Oh, I love this. I like it. Um... It's too smooth for you. Well, I just go back to, I just feel like that there's oh, so many, oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, it's different. It's got a little bit of more layering. It's not so smooth. What's that one that they just put out that this is like though? Is it Untold Story or? Well, Untold Story has more layers. But this and is so Untold way. Story kind of like does this flippy thing here. Look at that. Um, Look at that. Well, and I like the way you pulled that over and got a lot of volume here. This is when I, I mean, I don't like a straight out ball. And so this has enough layering in it and face framing. When you do that, it holds that really pretty, breaks it up. I'm getting one of this these. This is cute. You're probably going to get this one I got on. I doubt it. Why? Okay. If I would have had an anima in pearl blonde rooted, I would have worn that today. You so, still don't have it? No. So I well, ordered. Well, I would have known we had Starly in rooted pink pearl. I would have <laughs> had that too. So I ordered two um, in a different color. Actually, I had a customer call and say, I really don't think you're going to like that color. Well, I told her, yeah, they came in. I don't like that color on me. Really? It was too gold. Hmm. I guess you want to switch. So, um Anima, November. I'm sorry. I took mine to Scotland. I did. I took that little baby all over this, the whole country and never put her on because I just wore my hair in a ponytail. I mean, we're fortunate. We have the option. And I take wigs on every trip. I wear them depending on the occasion. But typically when I'm on vacation, I'm just real casual. Yeah, me too. I wore a cap some days. Oh, this is my favorite brunette item. Y'all know that. I gotta have this. This is more my color and that's definitely more yours. Oh, Rosalie, I know. She's waiting on her Watch Me Wow and Shaded Vanilla. Oh, these back orders kill us mm -hmm. you know it's no big deal when they say it's you know three weeks or even six weeks but when they come back and say it's sometime next year and we don't even know when <laughs> well i was told one week was july i just, I just want somebody, i'm like of 2023 july like, are you kidding me just lie to me then just lie and just say okay march and then come march say well it got pushed back but i just just to say i don't know i mean we try to be really honest with you guys when you place an order with us. If, if we don't have it in stock, when we'll be able to get it. But it's not an answer to say, we don't know. Yeah, we no clue. So. Um, Janet's saying this looks too much like in charge. It's really longer here than in charge and longer in the back. It doesn't it's have the stack. And it's, and not, it's as not as thick. But my in charge has worn great. It, I don't think it's ever looked like a helmet. Mm -mm. So. Uh, Christina, wavy day. I'm assuming you're talking about Shady Biscuit, so send an email. Because uh, uh, Christina now, when wavy day be back in stock, I'll find out for you. I've got... No, I'm holding that for someone. I, th I was going to say I have one in Biscuit, but I we're holding it for um, somebody. Okay. So. Block the crazy liar. Who's li Who's lying? I didn't see anything weird. Sorry, I don't read it all. Not, not that one. Um, okay, so what are we doing now? We're done. We're done. Uh, someone's asking about the new Noriko. We will show you those next week. Yes. One of the things that was supposed to happen while Missy was gone was I was supposed to order those. 
I mean, I'm telling you, the day before Misty came back, Carrie went through the store finding everything that I was supposed to do that didn't get done. One of them was ordering boxes. And so we were like, okay, we get mom's coming home. Mom's coming home. We got to get this done. I, this is the first time hearing it. <laughs> and so she's like, we ran out of this size box. I'm like, oh, no. That's like my fear. I know. Running out, I, have, I have a fear of running out of two uh, things, wig grips and boxes. And... I, I told Carrie, I go, she's going to walk in tomorrow. There's this one shelf. It's the most common size box that we use. Empty. And you cleverly stuffed it full of bubble wrap. No, Betsy did that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all. Anyway. I didn't even think it. I'm sorry. I don't take it personal, but I didn't think about work while I was gone. Good. You're not supposed to. I didn't. Okay, so. I'm not taking this off. Okay, well, I'm going to take this one off. I'm, I'm going to put my other one back on. What else? Well, what's today? It's, to, it's oh, a special I'm, day. I am so excited about today. I can't even tell you. No, I, I didn't really mean much. I mean, today. <laughs> a, I was excited that Misty was back. Oh. oh, yeah, that means a lot. B, we got bourbon cake in the mail. Yeah, that's And that too. was good. But the best thing is it's the last day of summer. When I got my car yesterday, it said 103. Now, I know it mm-hmm. wasn't 103, Mine's but it was, like, it was like 97. But still, it is almost fall, y'all. It is. <laughs> in a matter of hours. But do you know what that means in Texas? That Absolutely means nothing. Indian summer. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, it doesn't mean Until anything. Until maybe November. Or December. And then it might get down to 70. <laughs> and we'll put big sweaters on. And we'll be like, oh, it's okay. I'll be drinking coffee. And I, I, there, there's a sure thing about me. In the summertime, I'm always going to be hot. In the wintertime, I'm always going to be cold, even though I'm usually hot. I don't care. It can get down to 60. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. So well, you remember but last summertime, year? in the Because when it's fall, I'm going to have a fire in the fireplace. Oh, yeah. I had the air conditioning on mm-hmm. and my fireplace going because mm-hmm. I'm like, it. This is what you do in the fall. Mm-hmm. I've done that too. You Especially even in the car. And like if sometimes if the weather, when the season starts changing, first of all, autumn is my favorite season my of team. all time. Of all four. <laughs> That's not of all time. But I will like put some music on, roll down my car windows, let that wind come in, and I'll have the heater going off. <laughs> like it is what it is. Uh, okay. But anyway, all right. saying that today is the end of summer, what are we going to do? Oh, we should do an end of summer sale. The, or the did, beginning of fall. It? The last day of summer sale. Oh, here. Look, we have a thing for it. Looky here. It's not going. Oh, Anthony, you're killing me. He says the leaves are starting to change here in Cape Cod. Oh. My, my leaves are changing in my front yard, kind of. Okay, the last days of summer sale. The code is fall 30. That'll get you 30% off of everything except for the Mimi's exclusives. Right, and the clearance. And the clearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 30 days, um, 30 days, 30 days. That, all I can hear in my head is Don Henley singing The Boys of Summer. <laughs> <laughs> and I can still see that music video on MTV <laughs> of him driving that convertible through the desert. <laughs> We thought MTV was just so cool. It, it was, was just so cool. cool. And somebody come out with a new video, new song, new video, and it's like, oh, you got to see it. It was cool. And yeah. you know what also I loved is pop-up video. You remember that pop-up video? So you'd be watching the, the music video, and it'd have a, a bubble pop-up, and it'd make the bubble sound bloop, bloop, and it'd have like a little trivia fact about oh, the video no, I or the, the artist. Oh, I love that pop-up video. I used to sneak around and watch MTV because it was a little risque for my household. You know, it was really sheltered. <laughs> so, we would, I'd like Saturday night, like 10 o'clock after everybody's in bed, I'd go turn on MTV. Yeah, I kind of had to go to a friend's house for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. I know everybody's glad Misty's here. I'm glad uh, I'm here, too. I'm glad you're here. So, we will see you next week, same time. We'll have some fun stuff. and yep. The new Noriko. So, start picking out your favorites. Yeah. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you next time.